This is the highly anticipated Inmotion V14 Adventure. Now, unlike some of the other wheels that have recently been released in the 16 inch market, this wheel has seemed to pop out of nowhere. Its announcement was only a month ago, and here we have it, the V14. Again, thanks to Jason for allowing me to have this unit so early and giving you guys a first look. This isn't going to be a complete review, but we're gonna go over some of the details and what we know about the V14 and some of my experiences of riding about 100 kilometers now. So the Inmotion V14 comes with a 4,000 watt motor at 134 volts. Now, instead of using the Samsung 50E, which are outdated now, they're actually using the Samsung 50GBs, which are replacing the 50Es. And that adds up to a total watt hour of 2,400 watt hours. The V14 uses the same Raptor controller as the V13. The Inmotion V14 comes with a lot of exciting features, including this custom progressive shock. The V14 uses a similar headlight to the V11 that is brighter and without the fan noise. The V14 is capable of 16 amp fast charging that will allow you to charge the wheel from 0 to 80% in just one hour. The Inmotion V14 is the first in the industry to use a motorcycle grade stanchion. The V14's removable battery is also another key selling feature. We're going to remove it and see exactly how long it takes to remove all four packs and to reinstall it. So. With my stopwatch and my power drill, we're gonna go. All right. We're gonna do one side first. More screws here. Two more at the top. Oh, taking up time. You gotta remove the bumpers before you can remove the packs, I guess. So we'll do one side and then we'll times it by two because it's gonna be the same. So we're zip tied here, so removed. All right, we'll move all, that off to the side. Okay, there we go. So that's your pack. Just a little bit over two and a half minutes. We're gonna install it back on. So it's two and a half minutes to remove our side. So to install it, it would take five minutes per side. So you're looking at 10 minutes. Now there's a couple of things that Inmotion hasn't made clear to a lot of its viewers or its writers that I want to clarify. So what exactly are you getting with your V14 when you purchase it? So you'll obviously get these pads. Now these pads are kind of the same ones used on the pan, except that they're orange. And you'll also get this fl flat panel. Now this flat panel here, I've cut myself. It's a fiberglass panel. You'll get something very, very similar. Additionally, if you do pick it up or pick up the V14 from eWheels, you'll be one of those lucky customers to also get a seat and we've been working with the Emotion team to design a seat probably somewhere uh, back here using the rear support to give you um, a seated riding experience on the V14 as well. Now, let's look at the other basic functionalities of the V14. So first off is the handle. So you have two handles, one on the rear and one on the front. And one push is for the front headlight, double tap, is your lift sensor mode. So then you can lift it up like this. Now this wheel is rated at 39 kilograms. The V14 pedals I think are completely brand new. I haven't seen these pedals used on any other in motion wheel. They're really light. And another thing to note is that there's no screws on either end of the pedal. So you just have the one screw and that holds up the friction of the pedals as well as prevent the rod from moving out. So it's dual purpose. So. I have the pleasure of working with my cinematographer, 
but there are times where he isn't available and I have to do the filming myself. I have the Ulanzi MT68 and they sent this out because I've been breaking similar tripods to this sort too many times. Now the MT68 is a three kilogram tripod so it'll withstand a weight even with this. Look at the Sony FX3 with a Rode mic. You've got different attachments. You've got a metal casing all the way around. But the coolest thing I think about this tripod is the fact that, that it's quick release. So if you push on the knob right here, where it says lock and unlock, you can actually remove the camera. And if you need to get a quick shot where you're panning and you don't want to have the tripod in the way. But the secret benefit for me actually is the fact that I can use this to hold up my wheel. Uh -huh. There's a lot of times where I'll use this. Let me put the camera down. I'll use this and I'll put the EUC right on top and it'll keep the uh, wheel steady. And thanks to Ulansi for sending this tripod out to me. So let's talk about some of my initial impressions of the Inmotion V14. Like I said, I've tried this wheel, I've used it for about 100 kilometers or so now. So this is just my initial feedback. Now in terms of speed, you're going to obtain that fast 70 kilometer an hour, which may not be ideal for some riders, but I think for an off-roading wheel, it'll satisfy most riders. But the amazing thing that Inmotion has continued to do is have the wheel feel very, very balanced. and Another very, very unique thing is that when you give it five, it gives you 10 back. What I mean by that is it's very, very easy to accelerate. When I accelerate on some of the other wheels, I have to put in more effort. Whereas this, it's just like a little lean forward and I'm able to get a lot of power going. So let's talk about the suspension on the V14. Now, Emotion is the first company to use a progressive shock. A lot of people might not be familiar with exactly what that means. Essentially, instead of your coil being just one pound, let's say 800, 900 pounds, it's actually progressive. So the initial travel of the suspension is 670 pounds and the later travel is 900 pounds. What you're gonna get in return is a very soft suspension feel out of a coil shock. Now, it's known in the industry or even in mountain biking that progressive shocks or uh, coil shocks are not as comfortable as air shocks, but what you get is a more direct road feel. And that's exactly what you get with the V14. You get that predictability factor. It doesn't wash out the ride feel like you would with an air shock. But if you're one of those comfort focused riders, air shock is still definitely the way to go. But if you're an extreme rider or you want something that where you'll feel the road a little bit more, I can say the best coil shock in the game right now. The Adventure is definitely a wheel that should be on the radar for those seeking for an off-road wheel with plenty of torque. We'll follow up with a proper review and perhaps some field tests. Seems like you guys really enjoyed those tests. As always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.